Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this strong spicy chai latte inspired makeup tutorial. The reason why I'm calling it strong because I wasn't expecting this look to be so dramatic but it ended up like this and I'm actually really digging it. So I'm going to call it a strong spicy chai latte video and I love spicy chai latte, it's like one of my favourite winter drinks. I'm not a fan of pumpkin latte, I've tried it, it's nasty, it's got bits in it. Um, I actually tried a cold version, maybe I should try a hot version. But in today's video I only used the Makeup Revolution Time Soap palette on my eyes. And she recently did a pumpkin spice latte video, I think that's what it was called. And that just made me want to do my own favourite drink, so mine is spicy chai latte. So it's very like bronzy with a hint of like bluey, this very special colour in the palette which you guys will see in the video. I will also link Sophie's channel in the info box if you guys want to check her out. She has an amazing palette and she's done some looks with it as well. But yeah, if you guys want to see how I create this look then just keep on watching. First thing I'm going to do is prime my face. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Prep and Prime stick. Prep and Hydrate Bar. <laughs> Comparing it to MAC. So I'm just going to I really like the feel of this. Skin could do with a bit of hydration. And then I wanted to go in with some of this NYX Away We Glow Liquid Highlighter in Gold Rush. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna... It's much darker than my actual skin tone. But I just wanna like give my skin a bit of a glow. It's under my foundation anyways. So I'm now going to jump into my brows. I'm going to use the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Blackest Brown. It's very similar to the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I'm going to brush my brow hairs. Gosh, guys, I'm so excited for videos. quite happy with my brows like that. I'm also going to go in with some of my, I'm also going to go in with some of my Wet n Wild concealer. This is the Pfizer Focus Concealer in medium deep tan. I'm going to use a flat brush and then carve them out. I'm also going to go in with some of my e.l.f. brow gel. This is in the shade dark. I'm just going to like comb this through my brow hairs just to kind of keep the brow hairs in place. I'm going to go in with the same concealer all, oh gosh, all over my eyes. I love the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, not the concealer, I love the concealer but the foundation as well but I just really, really can't stand the smell unfortunately. Okay, so that's done. Today's palette that we're going to be using on the eyes is the Makeup Revolution Time Soph palette. This is done by Soph Does Nails. She's a YouTuber. I did do a review on this palette, but I've been dying to just do a look with it. And because this is like a, a spicy chai latte video, <laughs> um, I thought it would be a nice twist to like just use this palette with this look, I guess. So the first um, colour I'm going to use is this shade right here. I don't have the name slip, I always lose it. So I'm just going to point out the colours to you guys. And I'm going to go in with this colour right here. It looks like a very nice taupey brown colour. Reminds me of chai latte. Chai latte is one of my favourite drinks by the way guys. Spicy chai, it has to be spicy. I love it when it's spicy. So it has like, it kind of burns when you drink it. And as I said in the in the review video, like with some of these shades, I do have to like really build up the mattes, but the shimmers are just perfection. And then I'm gonna go in with, with this color right here. I'm gonna grease just to deepen that grease bit. As I've been obsessed with the show Narcos. Narcos? Narcos or Narcos? Um, it's just so addictive and I want to like, <clears throat> I want to learn how to speak Spanish and every time that they're talking I'm just like repeating after them. I used to love Spanish and I was actually quite good at it before. I would always get like really good grades in my Spanish classes and then I just stopped doing Spanish classes and it kind of died down. 
I feel like if I continued I'd be super fluent in Spanish but so I like this because it's starting to look like mocha kind of first color we use just to kind of blend out the edges I think the next color I'm going to go in with is the darkest brown right here I'm going to first go in with a dense brush and really like press it in because I really want it to be intense and then you can go in with a fluffy brush and blend out the edges can you see how it's just starting to show up and I just go in with a blending brush and just soften up the edges also when you pat it in first you don't get as much fall out I'm trying to create like a gradient I'm going to use this colour and this colour I'm going to use this on the inner corner and this on like the centre of the lid. I'm going to use a... I'm going to wet my brush. When you wet your brush... Watch this, right? Oh, it's like molten. I prefer these shadows when they're wet. Like, look. What can you say? And I'm going to use that mochi kind of brownie shade. It looks stunning. I swear like I need a monitor. Look at that. Sophie, how did you manage to do this for a £10 palette? So I'm just kind of like creating a slight gradient. Just slightly. I'm not like cutting the crease. I'm just making sure I stay under like my brow bone. I'm very tempted to put some black in the corners so I'm just taking the black from the palette just I'm going to lightly pack it on that I have to say I kind of regret putting the black I'm not mad that it's going high up here because it kind of like lifts the eye but I just feel like I don't want black there blending it's not really black in chai latte this is looking like a milk espresso with vanilla. It's okay guys. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. Get a makeup wipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the other eye, wipe the excess off and I'll be right back. So we're going to go back onto the skin. Um, I'm going to first colour correct with my LA Girl Pro Orange Corrector. I'm going to use my NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in Caramel. <coughs> this is like one of my favourite, favourite drugstore foundations. Okay, like now that I've got like my base, I'm really like digging this smoky look. Whew. It's starting to come together. I'm just gonna touch up a bit of that metallic shade in the center. And then I'm gonna go back in again with my Wet n Wild concealer. Some of the eyes. I could like to go quite free with this because it does blend like really nicely. And it's quite lightweight, it's not like really heavy like the Tarte Shape Tape, but it's got very good coverage, very similar to the Tarte Shape Tape concealer. This definitely turned out much more dramatic than I expected, but I'm not mad at it. I'm going to quickly go in with the uh, e.l.f. What is this even called? The Infused Bronzer and Thingy? It's Bronze Peach, it's this like duo, I'll link it in the info box, but I have been loving... But I've been loving the contour shade, like this bronzer shade. Will it focus or not? There you go. So I just take a dense brush and kind of like dip my brush in it. And then I slightly like bronze. It's very, it's like a cream to powder finish. It's more creamier. Mm. 
and it's super blendable i really like this product then i'm going to go in with my wet and wild contouring palette and i'm going to go in with the banana banana shade to set my under eyes I'm just using the bronzer shade to like bronze up my skin as well on top of the cream contour. Um, for highlighters, I've got two highlighters here. I have the Makeup Obsession highlighter, it's the gold one, and this is a nice gold highlight. I also have the new Kiko Full 2.0 highlighting gold in progress, and this looks like this. But do you know what? I think I'm going to go with this one because I haven't tried it. This highlighter is stunning. Look at that. I'm, so I'm just going to finish off the eyes with a bit of this colour which I've been dying to try out. This hasn't got anything to do with chai latte but I just want to put this on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in my trusty old Colossal Big Shot Mascara in black, very black by Maybelline. Really pack this stuff on. So whilst my first layer of mascara is drying, <coughs> I'm going to go in with the NYX matte, Soft Matte Lip Cream in Dubai. And then I'm also going to go in with a bit of the NYX and Cosmic Metals Lip Cream in Celestial. It's like one of my favourite lip toppers ever. i just go over that. Alright guys, that's the end of this look. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm just going to keep my hair like this. I had a ton of fun doing this video for you guys. And if you want to see more like drink or food related makeup looks, let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.